this year we felt it was time to, to be part of that once in a lifetime um, opportunity and to be, um, to be part of that and to build our community further. Our mandate is that we will raise money for something tangible. The, the Celebration Plaza, the Legacy Plaza, will, will symbolise accessibility and a gathering place for our community downtown and it will transform an area that is in need of transformation. So it meets our, it meets our mandate on so many levels and uh, we're very, very excited. We're going to we're going to put the funding towards the plaza, the the celebration plaza for the Canada Games. We feel that that's a very good community project, and that it will be um, the best use of those funds. It will give us the opportunity to host a cultural festival down at that site, and we will it will be um, reconfigured so that. A cultural festival of any type will be able to in the future be used. I'm uh, approaching this like an athlete would approach um, a competition coming up in April so I want to take away a sense of accomplishment, a sense of personal accomplishment, um, a sense of making a difference by helping the fundraise for the beautiful celebration plaza that is going to be a legacy. I just want to be able to, to, to feel like I've made a difference in some small way, both uh, personally and uh, community. I'm, I'm helping out for the Winter Games. I've always lived in this area, so I, I can do my little part, I guess. And, uh, you know, and it just shows that uh, it doesn't matter what your situation or challenge or whatever, you can uh, just do what you want to do. So that's, that's kind of my little part. It's going to be a big challenge, but when I knew uh, where the money, where the proceeds were going towards, I was uh, excited. Canada Winter Games, I never got to compete myself as an athlete, um, just missed my opportunity. But um, excited that it's here in central Alberta, and I'm a legacy baby myself, so I understand the importance of the facility and even just the community rallying around you for such a big multi-sport event. I have an athletic background, but none in dancing, so I've got a lot of work, but I've got a great partner, and and uh, fully committed to, to learn all that I need to do. So uh, I think it's just a larger sense of community. Uh, you know, if we can do a great job for the city of Red Deer, this is truly a, a fantastic event, none that Red Deer's ever hosted before. So really just looking at being a part of this adventure and uh, contributing wherever I can. Uh, when I was the first approached by the committee and asked me if I would like to dance on this, I was, I was horrified, I was scared. Um, but actually, I was really honored because to be able to dance and raise money for such a great cause that they are, are linked up with. Um, I felt I could finally give back to the community on a personal level rather than on a business level as well. For me, this is a way for me to give back personally to the community and our company that uh, I work for to be able to support and give back something that will leave a lasting legacy like the Canada Winter Games Pavilion that uh, that we'll be uh, raising funds for. So. Uh, I've been a, a huge supporter of it since it was announced that Red Deer was bidding for the 2019 Canada Winter Games and even just being a part of the local media and covering it from that end has been a lot of fun as well. But to challenge myself to take on this new role and be an actual part of bringing the games to, to Red Deer and creating the legacy that's gonna last well beyond 2019, that's a lot of fun.